Want to know what the highest possible chain count is? Well, I'm right on the verge of getting that. Well, just to give you an idea what my, uh, well, gambits are. They're pretty much very similar. This is the primary healer. This is for emergency backup. Pretty much. The other one's just constant berserk. Goes through enemies like there's nothing to it. There's a whole bunch of these things. Undead enemies. You guys care on them. Blind. Pretty soon is all about. Get rid of most status effects. Status effects keep expiring. Nine sixty-two chain and counting. And just so you know, notice how much HP these things get. Yeah, they got a lot. All these gold coins. I've been using quickenings as well every now and then, trying to see what black holes are like. So many of these are gonna grab them before they expire. Nine seventy nine. There's a whole bunch of skeletons here, huh? A whole bunch of these things. One that doesn't appear here. Oh well, gotta go respawn the enemies now. That really don't take too long. You just simply get two zones away, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and by the way, yeah, I'm still supposed to be going to that Gareth village. Normally there's supposed to be enemies here, but if you clear the zone out, usually about twice, then no enemies will ever appear here, giving you a whole complete zone. It allows you to chain almost any enemy. Almost any enemy. And I hate the fact that when others cast spells, they just stand there and do nothing, pretty much. They should follow along just like the party leader can. It's an annoyance in this game. And also, when the party leader is berserk, you can't move. At all. It's another annoyance. Of course, if there's enemies around, it makes sense. But, there's, if there's no enemies around, you can't do anything. You have to change party leaders. So in other words, you can't have all three characters berserk. Really ain't much use in berserking everyone, because they you know, need to heal sometime or another. Oh, well, let's go get that extreme chain. We're just about to that limit. I think you can probably hear the idea right by now. I just love the sound of the cure. Story wise, I just got cure. I don't have cure ah just, okay. because I haven't visited that one town yet. Has it. So close. There's a whole bunch of them. Boy, he's immune to it. And yes, they have reflex, but they really don't make a difference because, well, reflect is dragging it over to your own character. Grab these items. 995 chain. Yeah. 
Pretty much it. So how do you get here in the first place? Well, uh, let's see. Long route. Oh yeah, long. Now this is familiar territory, wouldn't you think? Well, basically there's this flowering cactoid event. Then you get to the point where you get to the Dawn Shard, and then that boat becomes available so you can get into these villages. Then you just keep heading north through this. North, 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 lots to this. North, north, west. And then... Let's go on. Further north, keep going north. And that's pretty much it. In this area, in the northwest corner, there's a secret passage that will take you to here and here. That's how you do it. It's also an excellent way to gain some levels, although I don't need it. <laughs> 